Chapter 1.4 All the World's a Stage William Shakespeare, 1564-1616, was an English poet, playwright, an actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's prominent dramatist. Prominent means famous, dramatist means a playwriter. He is often called England's national poet and the bard of Avon. This poem is taken from his play, As You Like It. Here he compares the world to a stage where the drama of human life is enacted. Enacted means acted on stage. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. Players means actors. Entrances means an opening door to enter inside. At first, the infant, mewling and puking, in the nurse's arms. Mewling means crying. Puking means throwing up or vomiting. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwillingly to school. Whining means long crying sound. Satchel means school bag. Creeping means crawling. And then the lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad, made to his mistress's eyebrow. Furnace means oven or roaster. Woeful ballad means sad poem or song. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the bird, jealous in honour, sudden and quick in quarrel. Seeking the bubble's reputation. Even in the cannon's mouth, oaths means promises, bearded means to challenge, bird is poetical short form of leopard, cannon's mouth means facing great danger to life. And then the justice, in fair round belly, with good capon lined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut. Full of wise saws and modern instances. And so he plays his part. With good capon lined means with excess fat from careless eating habits. Saws means sayings. Instances means examples. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloons. With spectacles on nose and pouch on side. Pantaloons means trousers. His youthful hose, well saved, a world too wide. For his trunk shank and his big manly voice. Youthful hose means close-fitting covering for legs. Shrunk means contract. Shank means legs, knee to ankle. Turning again towards childish treble, pipes. And whistles in his sound. Treble here means three times weaker than. Last scene of all, that ends the strange eventful history, is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. Second childishness means a return to the helpless, ignorant state of a child. Oblivion means the state of being unaware or unconscious of surroundings and happenings. Sans means without. A poem by William Shakespeare. Factual question. What do exits and entrances refer to? Answer. Exits refer to the death of people or their departure from this world and entrances refer to their birth or entry into the world. This is an extension of the metaphor, the world is a stage. Why is reputation like a bubble? Answer. Reputation is like a bubble because it doesn't last for a long time and can burst any time. 
What is the major difference noticed in the fifth and sixth stage of life? The major difference between stages 5 and 6 is the change in physical appearance as man goes from having a belly to becoming extremely thin and he has a changed voice as well. English Workshop 1. Read the words in the given clouds. Match them with what they signify. Answer Stage Life Characters Roles played by human beings Script Situations Incidents Dialogues Conversation Entry Birth Exit Death 2. Read the poem carefully and complete the following table. Ages of man Role Qualities Actions 1. Infant 1. Mewling 2. Puking 2. Schoolboy 1. Whining 2. Creeping like a snail 3. Teenager 1. Sighing like a furnace 2. Writing a woeful ballad 4. Youth Soldier 1. Jealous in honor, short tempered and quick to quarrel 2. Willing to do anything to gain reputation 5. Middle age, judge 1. Severe eyes, formal beard 2. Uses wise sayings and modern examples 6. Old age 1. Lean, wears loose pants and spectacles and carries a pouch 2. Childish, whistling voice 7. Dotage, second childhood 1. Second childishness 2. Without teeth, eyesight and test 3. Write down in your own words the differences between the following stages of a man's life. Answer. Second stage and fourth stage. In the second stage, as a schoolboy, he carries his school bag and creeps unwillingly to school, whining all the way. In contrast, as a soldier, he takes strange oaths and has a beard like a leopard. He is jealous of other successes and gets into quarrels at the drop of a hat. He is willing to put his life in danger to gain temporary reputation. Third stage and fifth stage. In the third stage, as a lover, he sighs like a furnace in separation. He writes sad poems and describes his beloved's beauty. In the fifth stage, however, he is the justice who has a fair round belly as he is well fed and full. He has severe eyes and his beard is formal. He uses wise sayings and gives examples to explain his points. First stage and seventh last stage. In the first stage, the infant mules and vomits on the nurse's arms. In the last stage, that is old age, he experiences second childhood. He is without proper eyesight and taste. He needs help with everything he does, just like he did as an infant. Therefore, these two stages are strangely similar. It is like going back to the first stage one started from when one was born. 4. Pick out lines that contain imagery, a picture created in the mind by using words of the following people. Answer 1. Schoolboy, second stage. Then the whining schoolboy with a satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. 2. Soldier. Fourth stage, bearded like the pard, sudden and quick in quarrel. Three, judge, fifth stage, in fair round belly with good cap and lined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut. Senior citizen, sixth stage, into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacle on nose and pouch on side. You will notice that there is no rhyme scheme in the poem. It appears similar to the poem 1.1, Where the Mind is Without Fear by Tagore. However, Tagore's poem has no steady rhythm meter, either it is called free verse.
Shakespeare uses lines with a steady rhythm of five beats in each. It is termed as blank verse. No rhyme scheme, but uniformity in rhythm. Copy the lines from "And all the men and women merely players" to "Sudden and quick and quarrel." Put a stress mark on each of the syllables stressed in the lines, as, for example, "And all the men and women merely players." Answer: And all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being seven ages. At first, the infant mewling and the puking 